The main focus is that we have an intimate parent-child relationship with God where we have special privileges. We have special access to God our Father as our Father, as His beloved children. That is the takeaway here. That nobody else but God's children gets this special relationship and access to God. And so this intimate, special relationship with your Heavenly Father, you have free access to if you trust in Jesus. The uh, this, this comment of whatever we ask we receive from him is presupposing you know a couple things, and they're mentioned in this verse. It presupposes that we're keeping God's commandments, and it presupposes that we're acting pleasing to God. So, in other words, uh, these, uh, this, whatever we ask from God we receive from him presupposes that we're asking things according to his will. Because we're keeping his commandments and we want things that are pleasing to God already. The, the two commandments listed here that we're keeping is first trusting Jesus for salvation and that continued daily trust of Jesus with our lives. And then the second thing is loving one another, particularly Christians. Again, we're specifically talking about Christians here. Um, but loving one another in a sacrificial way that God instructed. So if our entire motivations are built on trusting God daily and loving one another with God's sacrificial love, and that's the motivations of our ask of God, like that's the lens or the, the, the pathway that we ask God, of course God is going to grant us whatever we ask because it's already in line with his will, his love, and, and who he is, the person we're trusting. But again, the focus here isn't what can I ask God and get away with. Uh, the, the focus is that we have an intimate relationship with that Heavenly Father and have special access to Him and can work with Him on anything.